Welcome to Terrier Vision. We're here with Wofford Volleyball Junior Liz Booterball from Hilton Head, South Carolina, by way of Hilton Head Prep. Liz, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so let's talk about your, your season so far, your junior season, getting toward the end of it. You're almost a senior, which okay. I believe has to be a, a weird feeling for you, I'm sure. I really can't believe it, to be honest. <laughs> so Wofford's facing the Citadel on Saturday, a team that Wofford defeated earlier in the year at in Charleston, a little bit of almost like a home trip for you. Mm -hmm. And then uh, a team that Wofford has had a lot of success against in the past. The Terriers lead the all-time series 28-5. to five. Uh, But let's just talk about heading into that matchup. You know, how's the team feeling? How are you feeling? And, you know, what do you see happening? Um, actually, you know, our team's feeling really good about this match. When we play the Citadel, um, we usually are pretty confident about that match. They're usually a group that we can do very well against. So it's not only an opportunity for us to practice our mental toughness about, you know, just kind of playing our game throughout the whole match, but also it's a good opportunity for some of the players who don't get as much experience to get some time and playing experience on the court. So matches like that where you do have a lot of confidence heading in, a team that you know you match up well against, what, what are some of the matchups that you think Wofford has, the, the, the good matchups within that match, whether it be on the block or on the outsides or the middles, or your position, you know, what, what are some of the better matchups for Wofford in that match? Um, I think usually our hitters are matched up pretty well. Um, we can put up a usually pretty good strong block against them, which they can against us as well. And I'd say most of all we're pretty evenly matched, but we usually end up on top, I think, just because we are able to execute a little bit better than they are. Um, and also we just kind of are a bit more confident going into it, and also we just kind of have a bit more experience, I think. Now the last time the Terriers were at home, a five-set win over Western Carolina. You were a big part of that match. Had 10 kills, I believe, mm -hmm. hit a 600 in that match. Talk about that a little bit for us, even though I, I, I know I've talked to you about it before. Mm -hmm. But, you know, what went right for you in that match? I don't know. I just kind of went into that match and said, look, I'm going to prove something here because I hadn't been seeing as much playing time as I've been used to prior to that match. And I just said, look, I have something to prove here. So I just went out with a confident mentality, just saying I'm going to do my best. And it seems to have worked really well. I had a bunch of kills, which was awesome. Mm -hmm. And also um, the five my, blocks. Yeah, yeah, my blocking was a lot stronger than it has been. Um, it's kind of been something I've been struggling with a little bit this season, but I think after that match, I kind of figured things out, so it's been good. <laughs> so looking ahead of this weekend, if we can, you have uh, UNCG at home on Wednesday, and then Senior Day for Taylor Barrett and Caitlin mm -hmm. Farisi will be Friday at home against ETSU. You know, heading going into a Senior Day like that, especially with you being a junior, knowing that will be you next year. That's so weird. <laughs> uh, is that, you know, does it kind of give the team a little extra motivation to play well that day for their seniors? I think it definitely does, especially um, Taylor being a four-year veteran here and Kate giving us two and a half solid years on the team. It's definitely a match that we really want to try to win for them and just to kind of go out on a bang for their last home match at Wofford. Now, the last time the Terriers played ETSU at ETSU, not one of the better, not no. one of the ones we really want to remember. But, you know, what do you think needs to happen differently next Friday? Um, this time, I just think we need to go in having more confidence. Um, I don't think we maybe took them as seriously as we should have. Um, we maybe thought that we kind of had this match um, in our pockets before mm -hmm. we actually played it. So um, I think just understanding that every single game is something that we have to be focused on just as much as every other match I think is going to be important and just realizing that every conference game counts very much. So so let's talk about the academic side of things a little bit. Uh, what is your major and why did you, why did you select it? Um, well, I'm majoring in Spanish and sociology. Um, Spanish was kind of something I always wanted to do since coming to Wofford, and so that's why I chose that major. And then sociology wasn't anything I actually really considered before getting to Wofford, but then I just took some classes and really enjoyed the topics in that class, so I decided to major in it. Actually, I just submitted my um, declaration for it today. Oh, so. you did? Mm -hmm. Today on uh, Halloween, yes. <laughs> which, uh, you know, do you girls do anything exciting for Halloween? Maybe during practice, do you kind of dress up in costumes and practice? We do, actually. Um, for Halloween practice today, all the team is going to be dressed up in fun costumes. And not that it's not a serious practice, but it's usually a bit more fun and relaxed. We do um, some of our funner drills during that practice, so it's usually a pretty good time. And what, are you, what are you dressing up as? Actually, I'm going to be a monkey, so a monkey. I'm pretty excited. Um, I found a onesie that has ears and a tail and everything, okay. so it's going to be kind of fun. Now, um, you talked to me earlier about 
you travel you traveled quite a bit with Wofford and mm -hmm. I know that's something that a lot of Wofford students even outside of athletics try to do in their time here oh, it's, yeah. a, it's a big reason that students select Wofford is the interim program and mm -hmm. uh, being able to travel abroad so if, if you could talk to us about some of the places you've been traveling abroad with Wofford and maybe you know what is your favorite been um, well my freshman year first of all for interim during January I had the opportunity to travel to Chile and there I took some intensive Spanish classes for the month and I lived with the host family and that was absolutely incredible. Um, I think that's been one of my favorite experiences so far. Um, one of the things that I enjoyed the most was I was able to hike Chile's most active volcano oh. while I was there and it was incredible because the top of it was covered with snow and then to get back down we got to sled down the mountain. So it was a pretty incredible experience. Um, so that was probably one of my favorite experiences I've had. And then. Um, my sophomore year during interim, I was able to travel to Argentina and Uruguay, and um, that was kind of just more of a fun trip for us. Um, we learned some things about the culture before we left and stuff, and then we spent about two and a half weeks down there and were able to travel to Buenos Aires, um, the mm -hmm. capital, mm -hmm. and then Ushuaia and El Calafate, two other cities in the south. So we were able to really kind of get a feel of the whole country. So that was a pretty exciting trip for me just because of sightseeing, and I was able to practice my Spanish. Mm -hmm. um, and then being a Spanish major, um, one of the requirements is spending a semester abroad. So um, this spring coming up, actually, I'm going to be spending my whole semester in Granada, Spain. So okay. that's going to be an incredible experience. Well, you get experience. to go, instead of South America, overseas. Yes, to, to, Europe. to Europe. Have you ever been to Europe before? I haven't, actually. So okay. that was one of my big um, pushes to kind of go over there and see the world. So. so now when you do go to Spain, do you plan on traveling to any of the other countries while you're over there? Oh, yes, for yeah. sure. I plan on seeing a lot of Spain and then trying to visit as many countries as okay. I can. Well, do you, do you know of your heritage, maybe, that look like a your family and ancestry is there you know what is it and is that, do you plan on visiting those countries um, well obviously Buderba you know it's oh, okay. pretty German yeah. so I do plan on heading to Germany, Germany. and seeing that and then um, probably gonna go to France and Italy and maybe Greece are the countries okay. I have in mind awesome well mm -hmm. I hope you have a lot of fun on those trips Thank and you. you know best of luck the rest of the season the Terriers play the Citadel Saturday mm -hmm. and then have, like I said big weekend big week following that before the final weekend of the season where you travel to Chattanooga and to Sanford just like you did at the end of last year. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it all works out and mm -hmm. uh, we'll see you down the road. Thank you. That was Junior Liz Buderball with the Wofford Volleyball Team.